Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 11.5, three-dimensional figures. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's objective is to identify, describe, and classify three-dimensional figures. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, today's lesson has a lot of vocabulary. I will try to highlight this vocabulary as we go through the lesson. Unlock the problem. A solid figure has three dimensions, length and width and height. Polyhedrons, such as prisms and pyramids, are three-dimensional figures with faces that are polygons. So polygons, we know, are many-sided shapes. But if I have a length and a width and a height, if I have a three-dimensional space, then I can call it a polyhedron. Hedron means that it is three-dimensional. Polyhedrons have two types, a prism and a pyramid. Let's talk about a prism first. A prism is a polyhedron that has two congruent polygons as bases. So if you look at this example here, we have a triangle on the top and a triangle on the bottom. So this is a prism because it has two congruent polygon bases. In between the two polygon bases, we have this shape here, and I'm gonna color it in so you can see it, and we call this a lateral face. So it has two bases and three faces. We call this a triangular prism because it has three sides, like a triangle, and it has two congruent bases, so it's a prism. Let's look at the next prism. If we look at the base shape, we know that that is a rectangle. So, the base, so below, the base shape is a rectangle. So we call this a rectangular prism. Okay, let's look at our next shape. It has one, two, three, four, five. So if we look over here, okay, five means pentagon. So we call that a pentagonal, it has a base shape of a pentagon. So it's a pentagonal prism. All right, let's continue on with the next two shapes. Let's first look at the base shape. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, a polygon with six sides is a hexagon. And if you look at the purple box on the slide before, a, the word with hex is hexagonal, hexagon, hexagonal. Prism. Okay, in our last shape, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. So this is an octagon, which means that this is a octagonal prism. All right, down below, let's think about this question, what prism would have congruent squares for bases and faces? Well, if I have a square on the sides, but I also have a square on the top and the bottom, that would give me a cube. Great job, fifth graders. Let's talk about pyramids next. All right, a pyramid is a polyhedron, which means it takes up three dimensions. But the big difference between a prism and a pyramid is that a pyramid only has one base. Then 
all the other lateral faces are made up of triangles that meet at one point. Let's look at some examples. You can see at the bottom we have one triangle. It only has one base, whereas in a prism it would have a triangle on the top and a triangle on the bottom that connected together. That would be a, p a prism. But this here only has one base. That one base is a triangle. So we would call this a triangular pyramid. All right, let's look at our next shape. Our next shape has a four-sided, okay, that's a square or a rectangle. Okay, so we would call this, look over here to our purple box, rectangle, okay, rectangular prism. Okay, and our next shape, we have one, two, three, four, five. So that would make a pentagon. All right, and look at the purple box. That means that this is called a pentagonal. Pyramid. There are, however, some shapes that are not a pyramid or a prism. We call these non-polyhedrons. Non-polyhedrons do take up three-dimensional space, but their bases are not polygons. So the first side is a shape, a cone. A cone has one circular base, and then it meets up at the top, but we can't call it a pyramid with one point up at the top because a circle is not a polygon because a polygon has multiple sides and a circle only has one side. So we either call this shape a cone. Our next shape is called a cylinder. A cylinder would be like a soup can. It has a circle on the bottom and a circle on the top and it has one big curved surface that connects them. And lastly, we have a sphere. A sphere is like a ball. It has one big circular surface. Notice that all three of these involve circles. And circles are not polygons because, like I said, poly means many and circles only have one side. So it can't be a many-sided shape if it only has one side. All right, fifth graders, time for the lesson activity. In this lesson activity, we're gonna do a bit of a Venn diagram. We're gonna sort out these words and where they belong in the geometric figures. So first off, let's do the polyhedrons. We learned in this lesson that there are two types of polyhedrons, a prism and a pyramid. Then we learned that there are things called non-polyhedrons, and all non-polyhedrons involve a circle of some kind. Look back to the lesson we just did, or if you know it already, fill in the non-polyhedron names. Great job, fifth graders.